guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and my dog are gonna go out to Cold Drops Yard. I think that's the name of it, in King's Cross. It's this like little shopping retail development area constantly getting new shops and upgrades and stuff like that I've haven't been in a few years um, I, I think I've only been there once or twice for the first few times I've came to London as like a as a tourist but since moving to London I haven't been there yet so I assume it has changed quite a bit over the years. <clears throat> and today's... I think the sun is about to come out from the clouds soon. So it should be a nice day. Anytime the sun is out in London, it's a nice day, honestly. There's also a new matcha place that just opened at Cold Drops Yard, so I'm very excited to go try that. Honestly, sometimes the best part of my day is just going to get coffee or matcha or bubble tea or even honestly when I'm traveling as well. Like I could be visiting a new city or country and sometimes I don't want to do like the touristy things but it makes me more happy to just go try like a specialty coffee place with really nice interior and vibes yeah I love just going to get coffee and sitting and enjoying the drink like part of me has that snobby Australian coffee side where I'm really particular about my coffee I hate those coffee chains like uh, in London like Cafe Nero, Pret, Costa and all of that because of their coffee taste it's like so gross so I never go to that. Like I would rather not have coffee than buy coffee from those places. I'm quite snobby in that sense. In in coffee. But in other stuff, like in food, I don't really care. Like I'm happy to buy food from Pret, Costa and Starbucks, whatever. But no, my coffee needs to be, you know, good. Is either like really good specialty coffee or instant coffee. Like I would drink instant coffee at home and I don't care. But if I'm going out, I want specialty coffee. Like no in between, you know? Yeah, and since I'm Australian, I know like that's where the flat white was invented. I don't know, was it invented in Melbourne or Sydney? Doesn't matter, it was in Australia. Yeah, so when I travel, I love like finding really like hipstery cafes and coffee shops to just go sit and have coffee and enjoy the interior design and vibes, atmosphere. So autumn has started in London and it's definitely showing. Like last week was super cold. I got a cold from it. This week is better. Like a few days ago it was quite warm. It was like 22 degrees or something. But yeah, the leaves and trees are starting to turn yellow and orange. The pumpkin spice lattes are coming over to the cafes. What I love about London and its seasons is that it's quite obvious in the like appearance of it like when it's autumn 
it's so pretty with all the yellow and orange leaves everywhere and then winter has like no leaves and stuff on the trees and then when spring starts like all the trees starts to flower and have like white leaves like cherry blossoms even though they aren't cherry blossoms it's like so pretty just like everywhere in London um and in summer just full greenery everywhere like it's, so it's, it's very obvious the seasons in London compared to some other places in the world I would say also update on my dog his injury, his poor injury is like, I want to say 100% healed. I no longer put the cone on him because he kind of pretty much stopped licking that paw. So that's really good. <clears throat> um, and his behavior has always been the same. Like even throughout the injury, he has been eating normal and behaving normal, super high energy and stuff so I wasn't I was never really that worried I'm still waiting for the um, pet insurance claims to be processed because if you have a pet and especially a dog and you take them to the vet for like injuries or whatever you know how expensive the bills can be so luckily I do have pet insurance and for the first few visits, I've got certain, I feel like 95% of the money back that I had to pay at the vet, which is great. But the main bulk of it, one of the visits ended up being 1,300 pounds, which is a lot. And this was because Softy had to get um, stitches on their paw because the bandage process wasn't like healing the pore fast enough, like closing the wounds. Like the wounds were quite open. So the doctor and vet was like, okay, we need to do stitches. And for them to do the stitches, they had to sedate softy, which was not ideal, but you know, what can you do? Um, so they had to sedate him, which added to the bill, obviously. And then the procedure and the medication, the, the cone, just everything. Yeah, that ended up being 1,300 pounds. So I'm still waiting for that to be reimbursed back to me. I'm hoping that all of it, or at least like, I don't know, 90% gets reimbursed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm all done. Now we're gonna head out. Just in time, the clouds started to clear up and the sun's coming through. And I'll take you guys along with us to the coal drops yard and i hope you can enjoy the rest of the video and subscribe to my channel thank you